Hi, Green Thumb Librarian here. Today I wanted to show you how I make uh, bread crumbs or bread cubes for using in my turkey stuffing dressing for Christmas and Thanksgiving. I do have the Samsung range, electric range, with the dehydrate setting on it. And so it goes a little lower than your normal oven. You can um, make bread cubes in a food dehydrator or you can make it in your oven. If yours doesn't go down to 160 degrees, which is what I have it set to, you could have it set at your lowest uh, temperature or 170 degrees. So, well my uh, first little backlog, when I was a kid my mom made the best dressing. She got the recipe from my grandma. My grandma died in 1969. I'm actually wearing her apron today. Um, she made it, and uh, I was pretty young when she died, but I've inherited it, and I just love it. So, um, my mom used to make the, the bread cubes by taking her stale bread. She would get a paper bag like this. She would put the bread um, slices in here one at a time into this big bag. She would fold it over the top. She'd shake it around a little bit, and then she'd set it up on a warm shelf. So she would put it in behind our fireplace in a, a walk-in kind of closet. And I did that when I was first married, but I decided it's got to be an easier way. Every day she would go in and shake this, shake it up, and she would do that for, I don't know, a couple of weeks before holidays. She would start then. I discovered a way faster way. You could do this even the day before your holiday. So I start with stale bread. If you have some ends uh, from your bread that you put in a bag, put in your freezer, you put in your refrigerator, um, that would be fine. I use uh, bread pans. I use parchment paper because my bread pans are just so ugly. And I used to just lay the slices of bread out on the... Tip this down a little bit. I used to just take these out, lay them down flat, and I could get about six or eight slices of bread on my pan. I could put them in the oven, and they would dry. And then I would take my scissors, when they were dry, and I would start slicing them. And crumbs would just fly everywhere. And I said, you know what? I'm going to try something different. So now, I take the bread. I slice it into strips. I cube it. And I do this until I have enough for a whole pan. Or in this case, two pans. Sometimes my granddaughter helps me do this. She loves slicing the bread. So if you have some children or grandchildren that you want to get into the kitchen, they love using the scissors to cut the bread into cubes. If you wanted to use this, if you wanted to make croutons, you could do them the same way. You could sprinkle on some seasonings before you cut them. fingers in the way of the scissors.
one loaf of bread, did two bread pans of cubes. And those are going to go into my oven that's preheated to 160 degrees. And I'm going to set my timer for one hour. They won't be done in an hour, but I will stir them. And uh, it usually takes about one and a half to two hours for these to be done. I will be back with you in about an hour. Hi, Green Thumb Librarian here. I am back. It's just about time to check on my bread cubes to see how they are drying or dehydrating for my turkey stuffing or turkey dressing. Okay, these are looking pretty good. They're still a little bit when you can, when they don't completely crumble, this one's good. Um, some of them are not, so I'm just going to turn them over a little bit. I think about another. This one's pretty squishy. That means it's not done. I think about another 30 or 40 minutes. And these will be ready. So I'm going to put them back in the oven. You can stagger them too, which works well. I did this time. Okay, back in the oven for another 40 minutes. Hi, Green Thumb Librarian back. My timer just went off, so I know that my bread cubes should be just about done. So I'm going to take them out and see how they look. So here we go. I'm going to point the camera down just a little bit. One tray. And the other tray. And... Okay, so they should be nice and crispy. They shouldn't be squishy at all. These are nice and dry. Look at that powder. This is just the way I like them. These are also nice and dry. So I'm going to take them and I'm going to put them into the bag that my bread came in. And 60 degrees is not too warm for these to go in. The pan is, is it's just lukewarm to the touch. I'm going to go ahead and start putting these in the bag. I have some extra crumbs here because I actually already took these out, checked them, put them in the bag, and then I realized that I did not have my microphone on. So, put everything back on the pan, put them back in the oven. So, that's why I have so many breadcrumbs, because I needed the bag, put them back out of the bag. These are just right for our holiday meal. See, I could put these in the, in the food processor, and make breadcrumbs like these. These will be good in our turkey dressing. Cubes and crumbs. I want to show you how many bread cubes I end up with. I'm done. So, do this as fast as I can. This is 
so much. Oh, I lost a couple on the floor, darn. It's so much less messy than cutting these all with a knife or scissors. My mom used a knife. I use scissors. Um, when they're dry, it's so much more messy to cut. Alright. If I were making another batch, I could use the same uh, parchment paper again. I might make some cookies later today if I'll use that. So if these were really warm, I would leave the, the top open to make sure that no steam builds up in there. But they're not, they're not too too warm, so I think we're fine. Uh, this is I will probably use another loaf of bread, which will give me about a bag and a half of cubes to stuff my 20-pound turkey for, for Christmas. Um, thank you for joining me. This is the Green Thumb Librarian. Have a great day. Bye.